Clark here doing an update on the tanks. Haven't done one on the 29 in quite a while. Got a couple new plants. Um, I got a Florida Sunset Crypt right there. Um, it melted a, a fair amount, but it's got some nice new growth coming in underneath. Also got this huge Anubius here with these uh, spear-shaped leaves. I'm still trying to figure out what kind it is. But it's, uh, I bought two of them. I bought one for my tank and one for my daughter's 16-gallon. Uh, also have gotten some new fish in here. Got some rummy nose tetras. Which are very cool. Love them. There's my German ram. Uh, he lost his uh, female counterpart last weekend. Uh, I'm going to put a vid up for... Uh, what all went down with that? So, but anyways, that's uh, this tank. It's doing doing nicely. This uh, my beta here will be going to my daughter's tank after we get everybody else moved in. He's huge. He's a uh, uh, body's probably a good two and a half inches long. And um, just got some nice, pretty fins on him. There's a panda cory. So, like I said, that's this tank. It's just uh, coming along fine. Everything's still growing. Uh, this is uh, not a dirted tank. It's just got gravel in here. And uh, I just, I had too many fish in here to tear it down and do dirt when I found out about it. Didn't uh, want to put them through the stress of cycling the tank. Too many um, sensitive fish in here. So, anyways, we're going to go check out my daughter's tank now. This is my oldest daughter's uh, little beta cube uh, made by Marina. I think it's like a half gallon. And her crown tail beta, which is pretty cool. A uh, feisty little thing. And you see she's got a beta mirror in there. A little beta hammock for him to lay on and chill out. And then also gave her a piece of java fern out of my tank. This here is my daughter's 16 gallon, uh, which is my first attempt at a dirt tank. Uh, we finally got it cycled, We've got some fish in here over the weekend. Being that she's a little girl, she loves the glowfish. Uh, anything with a bright color. She also kind of likes some of the oddball fish. Um, the Pocostomus and what have you, she likes those. So that was uh, something else that we bought over the weekend was a very tiny bristle nose. That's about an inch and a half long. And he's in here. I don't know if you can see my... Emperor Pocostomus there on the back of the driftwood. Also have a couple Odos on there. Now there's one. There's another one on the glass. And here's that other Anubius that I was mentioning in my 29 gallon. Have some Java Fern lace. A couple of uh, Anubius Nanas, I believe. One there, one over there, and some Cryptosporellus in the two corners uh, to hide the filter intake and what have you. I'm surprised I haven't seen any new growth on the Crypts yet. Uh, all, all the plants in here, uh, the Crypts experienced a fair amount of melt and uh, haven't seen them really bounce back yet. This Anubius sent down some roots real quick once I tied it off to a piece of black lava rock and I've already got a new leaf on it uh, coming up looks like another one underneath this one over here I have not gotten any new growth on yet so the glowfish are kind of cool I'm personally not real big on the whole genetically altered fish thing but if it gets my five-year-old into the hobby and she enjoys it I'll go ahead and uh, deal with it for the time being There's a view of it from the side.
anyways um please check out my other videos uh please subscribe uh, gonna see some different things on here um, other than just fish tanks i'm also heavily involved with auto racing and uh some videos and what have you will show up um with uh that hobby from time to time anyways take care guys have a good evening